All right, this is just going to be a quick video on pending invoices. Uh, we've talked about it a little bit in some other videos, but we're also going to just let everyone else know what it's all about. So here, when you create an invoice, I'm going to create an invoice for some parts. Okay. And we're going to say 15. All right, as you noted, we don't have any of these on hand. Okay. So that means I might want to not create this invoice yet, not build a client yet until we're actually shipping it out. So what I can do is I can go in and go to edit and mark this invoice as pending. Okay. As it says right there, it's pending. It's non-posting. It's a non-posting transaction. All right. So you now have time to go in and order your, your parts, your doorknobs here. Okay. I'm going to save this before I go forward. The thing that is most important to notice uh, between pending and using sales orders, of course, is that your quantity here, if you had put this on a sales order, it would have 15 set aside on a sales order. So when you have it as a pending invoice, it doesn't pull aside the inventory for you. I mean, it doesn't take it out of inventory when you create a sales order either. Um, but at least it sets it aside and tells you, hey, we have 15 on an, a sales order. Right now, with pending invoices, you could have 50 out on, a pen, on pending invoices and you would have no idea you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to quickly find that information, okay, like you can here. But you do have under reports, sales, pending sales, you do have your report here, and you could uh, total it by customer if you wanted to, you know, see what pending reports are open by customer. Uh, if you wanted to total it by item detail, I don't think it would let us because it's, it's doing summaries here. Um, so you want to you know, you can't really pull out there a quick way to see what's out on a pending order. How many of this product do I really need to order? Okay, so that's why we suggest using sales orders. All right, but again, the transaction is sitting here marked pending, and uh, that means that it will not hit your uh, profit and loss statement until you actually decide to come in and make it a posted transaction. So then you can come in here. You have to go into each individual transaction. You go up to edit and you say mark invoice as final. So once I do this, okay, it's actually going to post to my 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 profit and loss on my balance sheet, my accounts receivable, uh, and it's just like a regular invoice again.